is a continuation of our previous video where we set up an original scenario. And now what I want to do is I want to create one of these wacky what if scenarios that are being thrown at me and store this, store that in the spreadsheet. So let's say, just as a quick example, okay? You want to do a what if and saying, what if I double my advertising budget? So what if I spend 64,000 on advertising and as a result of that, the average number of visits per week go up 10%. Let's say, okay, in theory. So here's how you'd go about doing that. You could actually change the values on your spreadsheet directly. You could do the calculations here and then create the scenario. That's fine. That's not the way I like to do it. So I have my original number showing and I'm gonna go to the data tab, go into my scenario manager, here it is, and I'm going to add a new one. So I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna say, visits up 10% and that is a result of advertising being doubled. You could do whatever descriptive name you'd like. The cells that I'm changing in this scenario would not be everything. I'm just changing the average number of visits right there and the advertising. And again, we held down control to select multiple cells. You could of course type this in the changing cells as well. But those are the only two cells that I want to change in this scenario. So put that in, I'm gonna hit okay. It pops up now and shows me the original values of the values that are currently there in the spreadsheet. I wanna change these and you can do the math on a calculator if you want, or you can actually type in formulas into these boxes. So we said visits are gonna go up 10%, which means I would do an equals in front of that existing number. And I'm gonna do times 1.1, essentially increasing it by 10%. Advertising I'm doubling, now this isn't hard math, we could have just typed in 64,000. Uh, or again, I could do a formula as an example and just times that by two to double it. And then I'm gonna click okay. It appears to pop up an error, it's not. It's just telling me that these formulas have now be converted into hard values and numbers, which is great. So I'm gonna click okay to that. And now I have that scenario. So if you get the idea, I could add up to 40 of these things saying, well, what if this happened? And then this changed this number. And all sorts of different scenarios I can come up with and here's how you use them. So instead of having a separate spreadsheet, which means I might have to manage 40 or 50 spreadsheets, what I can do is I can actually look at what these numbers would do to my particular operating profit in this case. So right now I'm looking at my original numbers. These are my originals, okay? If I wanna see what this scenario does, I can simply click it, so it's highlighted now, and then I'm gonna hit the show button this show button here and I want you to watch the operating profit so if I hit show it says okay no problem there's your visits up 10% and that was a result of your advertising being doubled and this is what's happened to your operating profit so in that scenario we made about 50 grand more okay so you can manage these things in one spreadsheet using the scenario manager and that means that if I needed to make a change to the spreadsheet I don't have to go and make a modification to all the sheets that I made those new scenarios on I can just do it here. And all my scenarios that I create in my scenario manager are going to work. This gets even better when we start getting into the scenario summary report where it can do it for you. But I'll talk about that in the next video.